Do you call yourself more of a winter person or a summer person? Or maybe another season? I myself noticed that I was always changing with this choice and every period in my life I connected to another season more. Today, I understand how each season is magical and beautiful in its own unique way and usually syncs to our own growth process. This winter was particularly white in Stockholm and it got to minus 20 degrees and I was in love with that. It was so magical to come to a new place that is all covered in white. I love how the fluffy snow could easily reveal traces of different kinds and in one second could vanish any evidence. And even when it's all dark, it still glows with optimism. If you followed my last videos, I've shared about my challenge times and my thinking about moving to Sweden. And so I did. Last January, I decided to make it official. It was a gift to myself as I celebrated my 36th birthday in the end of January. This year, I decided to celebrate myself and to get out of my comfort zone. To step a little bit closer to my dreams and to listen to my needs. I decided to deepen the roots that I already started to spread in the depth of the Swedish woodlands. It's a wild journey. I'm still struggling with bureaucracy, with loneliness, and especially I'm overwhelmed with how hard it is to get information I need in a foreign big place like Sweden. But as usual, my answer to all of stress or questions I have is to get out to the closest piece of nature there is. Fortunately, I had a beautiful forest and a nearby lake to convert all of my stress into relaxation. I 
wanted to talk about my journey and about my days, but I feel like I just want to be present. It feels like I would ruin it with more words. So we'll leave it to sometime else. Some other time. I was starting to look for apartments to move in February. And I was quite stressed because I was already tired from moving around. I felt like I needed to have a place for myself for long term as soon as possible. I was lucky to find one, an apartment that was surrounded by forest, but on the same time was close to a bus leading me to the city if I want. But I needed to be patient and stay just a little bit more where I was, because the move was just in April. Like lots of snow. So beautiful. Oh my god. I didn't take my camera with me. I'm just with my phone today. I was spontaneous and went outside for a walk. And also it's the weekend, so I wasn't sure how many people would be around. And I was so, like, nature is amazing. This is the first time that I'm in Sweden during transitions, like the, between the seasons and Last time I've been seeing this lake, it was really frozen and so snowy. And I'm just seeing ducks flying and it's so beautiful. So last time I've been here, it was people who are standing on frozen ice and fishing. And now it's like, I've been, I didn't, I wasn't here for like three weeks, I think, or something like that. And this timing between 
it changed so much. It was even two weeks, I think. I don't know. And now it's like half frozen, half water. I can actually see the water. I'm so happy. And it's so quiet, even if it's like a really... Uh, a place that is really close to residential place, but it is still so quiet. And I'm appreciating that. <laughs>